Hello everybody, how's it going? This is Mr. Your Willy for episode 19, I believe, of my Let's Play. I'm surprised I still don't know what number I'm on. It's some number between one and a bazillion, so at least I'm cracked on that. Anyways, um, I did a lot of cleanup, as you can tell. Uh, reshifted a lot of things, transmuted a lot of things that, you know, I wasn't using into energy. And so first thing I'm going to do put this Kleinstar Ein in here and get another one and another one and I almost have enough for one more let's see if I can get a fourth one in here Nikolite I was surprised to find out that it had a lot of EMC value in it also I uh, made a tomb the recipe for a tomb is a book an ink sack and a feather and a tomb basically lets you write things in it oh yeah I'm was still in my test world. So I guess I'll just grab a tomb, show you what it's like, because I don't want to show you my to-do list. Um, oops. Having spelling problems today. Nope. You trash. Uh, by the way, if you throw it over here, it will destroy it as much as throwing it up there. See? And it allows you to create a book that you can write things like to-do lists in. Well, we already did that one, so I guess we can toss this to-do list out. And see, I'll just go ahead and toss it up there. And get out of cheat mode. But yeah, I made a tomb so that I could kind of write down what I'm going for. I won't show you my to-do list, like I said. It's a surprise. A secret. Um, but I do have some things that I'm aiming for. I also got some more rubber tree saplings. Uh, because I actually found another... Really? Oh, it's already turning tonight. found another rubber tree farm. And I let this thing go on. I unlocked it for Mobius fuel, which brings it to the next fuel. Alternus fuel. Eternius fuel. However you wish to pronounce that. Which has a EMC value of 8,192. Which is about the price. Let's see if I can... Yeah, it doesn't have that much extra EMC in there. Just burn that up and grab it there. Which is about the same exact value, I think, as a diamond. See, 8,192. 8,192. So, every one of these is a diamond, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and... Oh, yeah. Still on matter lock. There we go. Dump that out. And... I don't think I can figure out what the value of one of these is. I wonder if I can burn it. Nope. Okay. I know it's like somewhere around like three one third of that is a new one. I'll just grab half of this, see if I can maybe get it. Let's see. Oh yeah, I can definitely get another one. There we go. Seeing as it's nighttime. Um I don't think the energy saves over, so I'm just gonna grab stuff and redump it in afterwards. Alright, now the reason why I wanted to get four of these is if I put four Kleinstar and Eins in my crafting table like so. Wait a minute. You, get over here. <laughs> um, it's like, I swear I made another one. Okay, if I put four of these like so, I will get a Kleinstar Vine, which is the second tier of this. Holds a lot more energy, which is very nice because I kept running into... Like, the first one only held, like, 50,000. Um, and now it learned it. Yay. It only held 50,000 EMC, and then I couldn't put any more in there. Um, let's go ahead and just dump the rest of this stuff in here. And, you know, that's nice and all, but it would be really nice to be able... To, yeah, see, look, I'm already at 22,000, and I just barely scratched it. So this will definitely hold a lot more EMC. Which means I can burn up a lot of things, save the energy, and use it for more important things later on. Um, like I said, I burned up a lot of my older, or not older, unused materials and got 29 diamonds from it. Um, I did smelt all the ore that I had. So, pretty much like I had five stacks of this and like five stacks of iron and so i'm like wow i don't need all this iron and all this copper and all this tin and silver so i just kind of dumped all that out and made diamonds because um what i'm going to be building 
is quite a large well I, I have a lot of things that I want to build um, so let's go ahead and get started on those first off solar panel I went ahead and pre-crafted all the stuff so that I could just basically grab all this Now I wanted eight so I have seven here which is perfect because ooh. oh get back here the eighth one is right up there now um, these will create a more powerful solar panel each solar panel um, not enough energy where's oh that's right it doesn't use energy for my backpack I gotta charge it separately alright let's uh, quickly drop that in each solar panel produces ah, crud I really need to like, pay attention to what I'm clicking here ow go down here um, each solar panel produces one um, one EU, I believe that's the value that they use, every tick. Yeah, EU. So it's really slow for charging this, and it's definitely not enough to keep up with this machinery. Oh, now the electric wrench has energy. Ugh. Whatever. I guess I didn't want to charge it beforehand. I am still in lossless mode, right? All right. I just want to make sure I do not lose the solar panel again. Grab that. There we go. Now I have eight, which is perfect because I'm going to need all of those and a transformer box, I believe, to make a no, a low value or low voltage solar panel. Let's get that in. Low voltage solar panel. I need a low voltage transformer, which is wood, copper, and copper wiring, which I have tons of wood. I have tons of copper and I've got some copper wiring. Oh, I have just enough copper wiring too. Awesome. All right. So if I can remember, it is like so with wood around the ends. There we go. Now this is a box that you use for a couple different things. Um, as you can see, it has these tiny little dots all around the edges and a triple dot on one side. This basically will convert medium voltage if you connect it through this side to low voltage if you connect it to all the other adjacent sides even the bottom side has a single dot you can also apply redstone power to this and reverse it so you can make low voltage energy transform into medium voltage energy now we don't need this uh, for that reason that would have been stupid let's, uh, let's break the thing we just built <laughs> um, what I'm going to be using it for is in this crafting recipe, put a whole bunch of single powered ones into a low voltage. Now this one solar panel gives me enough energy as eight solar panels would. So it gives me eight EU every tick, where typical one gave me, rah, meh, cannot place on wire. Here. There we go. Where a typical one would only give me one EU. So I needed pretty much eight of the single ones all around this thing to make up for the energy that I'm getting now, which is quite a lot of solar panels in one area. And I prefer having a small amount. Another thing is, is these copper wires, they can transmit 32 EU a tick, as you can see with the bat box here 32 EU every tick anything more than that it will burn up the copper wiring literally destroying it so I can't put more than four of these boxes on a copper wiring but that's fine because I will be eventually transferring the copper wiring into a much more powerful wiring but once again that takes quite a lot of materials so let's go ahead and upgrade the wiring and the bat box so first off we want to get a more powerful bat box I mean this only holds 4,000 energy units and that's pretty much it not really sure are you getting enough solar panel or power over there hold on should be uh, charging this battery it is so why aren't you charging this Hmm. 
I'm going to need an EU detector. Which is crafted like so. So I need a circuit, glowstone dust, and some copper wiring. I think I toss all my glowstone dust. So let's get some more. Um, also, wait, do I have some rubber left? I have plenty of rubber, that's great. Um, okay, let's make the circuit. Oh, I need uh, tin. No, wait, refined iron. I always think it's tin, but it's not. So, let's go ahead and make some copper wiring. Uh, whoops. Ah, shoot. Silly me. That's fine. It's not like I don't need more copper wiring. And put it like so. You and you. All right. Now, what else do I need? Copper wiring and that glowstone. So let's go ahead and just get this recipe ready. Put that there. And yes, if glowstone's anywhere, it would be in the house. Um, and I'm pretty sure I don't have any. So I'm pretty sure I burnt it all up. But that's okay because I have this. Which I need to lock and do something a little bit lower. Let's grab some redstone dust. And upgrade that. There we go. Glowstone. I also went mining for about an hour to get a lot of materials too, and I figured I wouldn't waste your time doing that. There we go, EU reader. I guess it's about time I crafted one of these. Is it okay? So the EU reader will tell me when I click it how much power it is using. So this is using zero EU because nothing is running. It'll also tell me how much power is being transferred through wiring. So like the solar panel here. It is obviously gathering power, not a lot. It should be doing up to 8 EU a tick. Um, and it's transferring it through the wire here. Hmm. Let's figure out what's going on here. I don't know why it's going through 1 EU. It should be doing 8 EUs. Unless... Okay, so it's going into this machine because that one's running. But still, like I said, this machine is supposed to be running at 8 EUs. Not 1. Um, and I'm kind of not sure why it's running so low. I mean, I might as well have just placed 8 sol single solar panels. <laughs> Um, hello, I wonder if it's because of the cabling. Well, let's upgrade this cabling because we were going to do that anyways um, and see if that improves. So I need my batteries, uh, no batteries, oh, this one's already full, and I swear I had one more battery somewhere. Oh, it's probably, no, hmm, all right, well. I have a battery hiding somewhere, and I'll find it eventually. Oh, I might have used it in one of my crafting recipes um, without thinking about it. That's probably what it is. All right. Because I want to save as much of the energy. I mean, it's a loss just dumping energy, especially since I burned coal to get it. And now it's starting to set. So let's get the wrench. <laughs> just making sure it isn't a uh, something that I'm not going to be wanting. Uh, bedtime. Alright, so I got the bat box, and I know this wiring isn't going to be used, and I can just destroy this like so. Collect this copper wiring for other recipes. Now these machines, like I said earlier, run off of low voltage, but is meant to be run off of medium voltage. So, let's Ra. Let's 
get up here. Even though I'm going to have to drill down there in a bit. Now, these cables can only run off of low voltage. So if I ran medium voltage through them, they would pretty much just fry. And that is not good. Also remember that the recipe that I used for the solar panel used a low voltage transformer in it. So my hope, <laughs> and this is just a hope, that when I put medium voltage cables to that, it will not blow up that solar panel. Because um, that would be quite uh, disappointing. So let's create uh, the next bat box, which is an MFE. The MFE is crafted like so. So I'm going to need some refined iron. Let's go ahead and just grab a whole bunch of that. I'm also going to need four diamonds and copper cabling. And yeah, that should be everything. So the uh, what you saw there was, oh, all the way around. It's called an energy crystal. Now an energy crystal is kind of like an upgraded, oh, I need one more, wow. Um, it's kind of like an upgraded battery. Um, the battery, the reusable batteries that I was putting in there held a, what was it, like a thousand or 10,000 EUs, somewhere around there. Um, so it was able to use four of those for a single, huh, just need some redstone. So I guess I could, I have enough energy. Target redstone. Let's grab a stack of that. Dump the remaining leftover. Alright. So, last one. So these hold a lot more energy than that. I don't know the exact number off the top of my head. We'll have to test that out once it's built. But that's one of the reasons why we have to use them for this battery box. Because they hold more energy in total. Um, also, I can use them in replacement for batteries if I wanted to store more energy, um, which I will probably be doing later on. And silly me, I forgot the, uh, the machine block. So that's why I love the project table. I can just step away and go back. There we go, an MFE. Let's go ahead and put this right here, drop down and reorient the input. Perfect. You know, I should really stop like putting these stairs back. I should just like do this <laughs> for now and then just put them back. Um, Toby FabFab or FubFub says texture pack. Uh, he's referring to the texture pack I was using. I decided to stop using it just because, uh, well, I felt like it. But the texture pack I was using was the painterly texture pack. It allows you to pick what you want for the different options like you could choose what kind of wood you want what kind of leaves you want what kind of grass texture you want and so i basically just went through the list and chose the different ones that i like like for the pie for instance for bread i decided that i liked the pie instead of uh the different uh, the default bread look which i still actually like and i'm thinking about just making a hybrid where it's like pretty much the exact same texture as the normal one, but I get pie instead. <laughs> um, but it's called the painterly. And as far as I'm aware, it should work all the way up to 1.1. I'm not sure if they've updated to 1.2 quite yet, but they probably have. Hmm. I'm still not getting any... I'm pretty sure I didn't over tap this thing. No, I can still see the little dark outline there. I don't know if you guys can see that because it's pretty hard to see. Um, I also found some more rubber trees. I was exploring trying to find some more and I found uh, ones right around the corner here. Unfortunately it's right next to this pit so I always have to be careful when I collect from it. <laughs> I actually fell down that once uh, when I was trying to get some. That's why I built the bigger ledge. I can't remember where this one was. Oh there you are. Shoot. I was going to say, if you got stuck in the leaves, that'd be upsetting. All right. Um, Nico9Lies says, Dude, I love your videos. Keep them coming. I definitely plan to because I enjoy making these 
videos, and I'm glad you guys enjoy watching them. So as long as you guys are enjoying them and I'm having fun making them, they will definitely be continuing. Oh, also, I used the uh, destruction catalyst. I wanted to see what would happen if I stood in the middle of a tree and shot up. Um, well, pretty much that. <laughs> Giant hole in the ground, I'll show you. It's quite amusing. Oh, I need to extend it. <laughs> so, I got, like, tons of rubber wood by doing that. So that was quite a nice little grab of rubber because I was running really low and the rubber trees weren't giving me any more resin for a while. Um, Alright, so now that won't have enough energy. Hmm. I know, I shall put this battery in. Wrong direction. All right, and slowly charge that MFE. God, these, that sound is so loud. Even though, like, just doing this just drops the noise. Um, I don't know why it doesn't pay attention. Yeah, see, now it holds 60,000, or no, 600,000. And so each battery had 10,000. Yeah, that's right. Um, so quite a big difference. Also, as I said, this is medium voltage, so it can output 128 EUs a tick, where the other one was only able to output uh, 32 EUs a tick. Now, if I attach this cable to it, it would pretty much just fry the cable. So it would be unwise for me to put that in, because it would pretty much destroy the cable and it would be a waste of copper. Um, so I need to get some better copper or some better wiring for this thing. So let's get some better wiring. What I want is fiber optics. So fiber, which is quite an expensive recipe because it takes diamond for it. But if I use silver ingots instead of redstone, I pretty much get two more fiber optics cables. So it's definitely worth using silver ingots instead of redstone wiring, especially since you're using a diamond either way. And then a whole bunch of glass. Now, I had 24 copper wiring, so I want to get somewhere around there. Um, let's go ahead and just like make 8 for now, because I, I will be using fiber optics, because this is actually high voltage wiring. It doesn't mean that when I attach it to a medium voltage box, it will stop working, but what it means is it can hold more energy packets per tick um, all the way from 32 all the way up to I think like 528 or something like that so this cable I can reuse I don't have to like upgrade it from the copper wiring to something else like what I would normally do is go from copper wiring to like gold wiring uh, which is here this can hold medium voltage but it has a much lower drop rate so that means like every I think one block it, you, it loses a uh, EU worth of energy. Fiber optics can handle, I think, up to 50 blocks before it starts losing energy. So it's definitely um, worth. I forget that if you hit R, it will re, it will like sort through this stuff. Even though you're trying to type down here, uh, I should probably turn that feature off sometime. All right, so I need glass, which I thought was in that chest, but it's in here. And that doom is being too noisy. Doom, be quiet. By the way, if you guys don't remember, Doom's the name of the goat. So, there's two more would probably be enough. Oops. But yeah, the fact that this thing can handle all the way up to high voltage, not extreme voltage, but high voltage. Actually, this might be able to hold extreme voltage. I can't remember. Um, but I do know it can hold up to high voltage, and the fact that it, um, now I'm not going to hook up my machines yet, I'm just going to hook up the solar panel and make sure that this thing is actually charging. I don't know why it wasn't charging before, and that gives me concern that maybe I might have done something wrong, but, um, we'll see. Oop, come on. Up here. And one more should be enough. 
All right, now let's test out with the EU reader. Oh yeah, of course it's going to be uh, nothing because well it's nighttime, so let's change that. All right, silly me, I think I know why this isn't working. Um, the bat box, if you remember, has this little output, right? Well, this means energy comes out of there, not into there. So the reason why it wasn't charging it is because, well, it was on the wrong end. Um, so let me just get in here and change this up a bit. I'm going to put the wiring um, up through here instead. Let's remove that. I'll grab that in a sec. And now it should. Yeah, there we go. Now, oh, really? Go away. Where are you? There you are. Climbing my walls, trying to ruin my day. Jerk. All right, see, now it's producing 8 EU. And the reason why I was producing 1 EU before is because this thing only needed 1 EU as a tick just to keep it running. <laughs> that was me being silly. So um, I forgot that in my house I actually wired it properly. And that this time I didn't because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so I need to move this around. Now I think I still have some... S oh, where are you? Oh, here. There you are. All right. Now I'm going to move you here and up like so. Even though I could have technically made that stone, it's not like I'm running out of sand. Actually, you know what? Just because I don't need it, I will change these. That way I can use it in case, you know, I do need sandy pipes, which, if you remember, won't connect to machines. Um, I have some. So, yeah. Might as well be a little bit smart about that. Okay. So that explains why my bat box was never charging. Um, there we go. See, now look how much faster that is. Well, first off, it wasn't even doing anything before, but it's definitely much faster now. <laughs> now that we got it in the right spot. Now, if everything goes right, this won't explode. Ooh, mm, you exploding? Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> now it'd be pretty much instantaneously. Oh, yeah. I forgot I could just uh, do it across this way. Save a couple wires. Well, one wire. Perfect. That's just enough. And now, that should give this thing enough energy to... Yeah, see, now it's getting six to... Yeah, six and a half EUs a tick, which means it's charging while maintaining the energy requirement for this one and obviously because it lost power it reset back to zero which is not a problem because that will eventually reset itself so good we've completed three of the tasks that i had set for myself so we're doing really well Oop, other direction all right let's make that a little bit better looking and remove some of this extra stuff um yeah, I'm liking this new EU. That's going to help me a lot with power consumption. So, um, what next? What next? Well, I decided I wanted to upgrade my energy uses. So, Instagrass. <laughs> Best way to get Instagrass. I want to upgrade my mining. So I'm going to do that in two ways. Um, one, I am going to start working on a quarry. I don't know if I'm going to start working on that today um, because I'm already at 30 minutes. But what I will do is work on making a... Let me see. Yeah. Um, work on making a better way of mining and this one's also going to be quite a pricey build so let me see if I have enough awesome first I need a alchemical chest um, and I can't remember what the recipe is for this so let me just nope not you you all right wool and the dark blue so the level three covalent stuff any three of you I don't have any wool obviously because that would just be silly 
I mean, why would I have wool? Let's get the... Uh, come on, I need something close to its value. Silver ore? Nope. Uh, TNT. Oops. No. Hmm. All right. I will find wool. So I need surrounding. Let's grab eight of that. It's more than enough. I can just save the extra wool. All right. So put the alchemical chest in there. Put five wool around it. And then three of the covenant chests on top. And get a white alchemy bag. Now I want you guys to decide on the colors of this alchemy bag because you can actually color it. I'll show you just because I have some dyes here I believe. Well I did have some dyes somewhere around here. Ah here we go. Indigo. So if you put a alchemy bag and a dye. Hmm. Maybe indigo doesn't work for the colors because it's the default 16 colors. Or maybe it's more than one die. Either way, you can dye it the 16 colors. And, um, yeah. I'm not sure why it's not going to indigo. So I want you guys to comment below what you think I should color this bag. Um, until then, I'm going to keep it white. Because, well, I don't have a color chosen. So what is an alchemy bag? Well, an alchemy bag is an amazing bag because it has... A huge storage space, actually the same size as the uh, alchemy chest, which is why we used it in the crafting recipe. Another amazing thing about this thing, if I put something in here like rubber, let's say, and I lose this bag somehow, I die in lava or whatever horrible things may happen to me, I can just craft another alchemy bag, color it the same color as the original one that I had, and rubber would be inside it. So it is great for saving things like diamonds and stuff like that. Now, that's step one of my improved crafting system. Or not crafting system, mining system. The other one I need is the gem of internal density. This is a pricey, pricey, pricey build. Pricey build. Very pricey. So I need four diamond or five diamonds and a two diamond blocks. So, that's a lot of diamonds. Um, I don't even know if I have enough diamonds right now. So, let's see. So, three diamonds short, or two diamonds short, which is okay, because I have one, two. So, that's enough diamonds. Um... And then what did I need? I need a lot of Eternus fuel, which, if you guys remember, is a price of a diamond each. So I don't know if I'll be able to craft this all right now, um, but I will try. That's why I had this thing working on uh, Eternus fuel. So let's go ahead and just put that in there. Um... And I asked for an upgraded one of these. So let's go ahead and just dump that in and grab. Mm, I'm going to need a lot more than that. Oh, let's see. What can I toss? I don't think I have anything that's high enough value. Uh, I guess I can toss some of those ores. Um, so those 26 diamonds went by quickly, and I'm not even done with the build. I can definitely use Lapis Azuli. That has quite a high value. I only need one of each of these in here just so that the sorting machine can handle it. I don't need this much of that. And this doesn't give me a lot of value, but I definitely don't need it, so... And it's already night already. Wow, geez, days pass by quickly. Let's see if I can get this in this episode. I probably won't be able to. Um, but there's hoping for you. Let's go ahead and dump all of this 
stuff that I'm not using. I really wish I could dump this. Oh, I can! I didn't know if it would let me because it was used. Perfect. That's going to give me a little bit of extra EMC. Um, because that actually worked, I'm going to dump some of these other tools that I have. I swear I had a shovel somewhere around here. Of course, it's on the other side. Huh. Weird. Oh, there we go. I'm like, I know I have a shovel somewhere. I saw it last episode, and I was like, great. What am I going to do with this shovel? Because I don't use it or anything. Will that burn? Oh, it will. Sweet. Okay. Let's grab as many diamonds as we can. 17. All right. So, yeah. So, I need five for that. So, that's going to be 12 of this. Oh, yeah. There we go. Hmm. Jeez. That's, uh... That's a lot. It's a lot, a lot, a lot. So, there's one dark matter. So, let's just count how many diamonds that is. That's nine right there, plus... Eight. So that's 17 diamonds for one of these. And then 17 diamonds like so. Oh, shoot. Do I have obsidian? I don't have obsidian on me, but I do have it in the chest to my right. Okay. So we've got 17 plus another 17 plus an extra 5 diamonds plus two obsidian equals the gem of eternal density an extremely expensive build um so you might be wondering well why would i waste so much for this little shiny thing well, i'll show you when it sorry i accidentally hit the cut record button a second too soon but you know what i was gonna say all right so while i'm mining with this tool right no! No, 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 no. Get out of my building. Don't put your dirt blocks in there. Frickin' griefer. Hey! Oh, shit. You stay right there. Ooh, Ender Pearl. Awesome. Now, you. <laughs> There's like Endermen everywhere. And he keeps getting in my place. Damn you. Stan. Oh, he's on my place. Jerk. I can get on my place too. <laughs> Not as quickly as you can. But I can. Wah. Oh, damn it. Hey. Stand still. Stop moving. Mer. Coward. Okay. Anyways, back to reality. Um, what does this impressive little device do? Well, I shall show you when I get down here. So, you know, I'm mining, right? And I tried those backpacks. Hello. You aren't going to blow up my stairs. No, you aren't. Oh, I had a little bit of lag there. Please. What the heck? Every time I, like, hit him, I hit a bit of lag. It's like the game's really trying to kill me. It happens. The game goes against you sometimes. Another Enderman. Wow. Creeper's more uh, dire in my situation right now. Wow, I'm getting a lot of gunpowder from him. Ow. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. There we go. I probably should eat, though. Wow, that's um, that's a lot of Endermen. There's a lot of Endermen over there, too. Jeez, they're like everywhere today. It's like Enderman Central. But, um... Okay, I'm going to increase this as large as I can. And now I usually get a creep around the corner. So I'm going to be careful around this. As you can see, I put a ton of torches up because of that. Alright, so I'm just going to mine off in this direction. I'm not going to get a lot. As you can see with this, I'm not going to get like 300 for value. It's it's really not worth it. But um, I'm going to do it anyways. So shoot this. I get this you know, nifty little ball. 
and that's cool and everything. Um, but as you can see, it starts quickly filling up my inventory. Well, what this gem of eternal density does is when I right click it here, or not right click it, where's the button? G, there we go. G is the button. It'll start compressing all of my materials, so all my cobblestone up to a stack. So as you can see, there's 62 right th or 64 right there. So it'll compress up to a stack, which is great because I like having something in my inventory to turn into something. And what it will do is it will keep compressing it until it has enough to actually give me things of value like iron and then gold and so on and so forth. If I hit G again, it decompresses it all and puts it back in your inventory. I see I already got two diamonds right there. So I'm going to recompress this and put the one that it doesn't. Oh, of course, it puts the one in my inventory first. See, so as you can see, now I'm getting iron, and now I'm getting gold, and then there was diamonds for a split second. And there you go, a stack of that. And I'm going to go ahead and just mine a little bit more. So let's just grab this. As you, as you can see, there we go. We got some iron from that, and now the iron goes away and gets replaced with gold, and the gold gets replaced, so on and so forth. So it's you know, extremely useful for keeping my inventory um, small. Another nice thing, a feature about it, I'm going to decompress this here, is with my bag of holding, as I'm going to call it, because it reminds me of the D&D &D bag, if I put stuff in here, like this stuff that, you know, I got from mining, into a bag and then I throw in the gem of internal density it doesn't matter where I throw it in by like putting it in the far corner because that's the last place it gets filled it'll automatically turn on and start compressing these things if it needs to be compressed so let's go ahead and just dump that in there there we go already got um, seven diamonds from that now it won't grab things from my inventory I have to manually put it in um, but I have a solution for that so let's see so you can see I have to uh, go into my bag again and right click it, there we go, and just dump the stuff in here and let that compress down into things of more value. Um, anything else? Tin ore. But yeah, so you can see that would have been like what? Up to here worth of inventory space with all the cobblestone maybe here and it compressed it into five including the gem, so six. And I already got seven diamonds, which obviously I didn't find any diamonds, but it compressed them into diamonds. So it's a much more efficient way of mining because it'll give me less material in my backpack. Now, I unfortunately, I don't have enough for the next item, so I'll craft it in the next episode. So in the next episode, I'm hoping to craft one more useful little mining tool that will help me, as well as start working on the um, on the quarry because I've had a couple people ask me about the quarry. Um, now I got a few more comments, so I'm gonna go ahead and read those in the next episode as well. Because I'm gonna go ahead and just record two episodes at once here for you guys, and so that I can post them quicker. Um, so I shall see you in the next episode. This is Mr. Willie signing off. Adios.